Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, this is gonna be a very exciting, um, adventurous vlog, to say the fucking least. So, uh, yeah, it is currently 7 o'clock at night. It is February 20th, I'm pretty sure, 2021. Um, and I'm having a nice little smoke right now. Um, let me see what time it is. Yeah, it's 7 o'clock. So it's pretty late outside. I'm starting this vlog really fucking late, y'all, um, because... Some big changes are coming in my life on this channel and um i want to take you guys on this journey with me so basically if you didn't already know uh i'm moving to denver colorado tomorrow so this is actually gonna be the last night that i'm ever in this house it's gonna be the last vlog ever in this house and it's kind of like sad in a way i don't know i filmed a lot of fucking videos in here had a lot of good fucking times in this house but i don't know i just haven't been happy living in this town and for the money that I pay to live in this house, y'all, I could literally, where I am, paying like four more hundred bucks and getting like a really nice apartment in downtown Denver. So I'm going to be right in the heart of the city. And it's just going to be a huge life change for me because I've lived in Kentucky my entire life, y'all. And I've always wanted to live in a city, um, but I didn't know it was going to happen this quick. I kind of just like spontaneously started applying for apartments like on a whim <laughs> like this time last month i had no fucking idea i was gonna be moving but that's how i like to live my life but yeah for now y'all i am gonna finish my little blunt and uh, i'm gonna start packing my shit up because <laughs> it's literally dark outside and i'm leaving tomorrow morning at 6 a.m and I've not packed a single fucking thing because I'm a procrastinator and that's just how I roll. So, I like to do everything at the last minute. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like this. It's not okay. But yeah, um, we got Kirk, Kirk chilling down here. And um, I also have a very sad announcement to make about my cats. Um, they're not going to be joining me on this journey, unfortunately. Um, because for one, I'm driving literally 18 hours and 30 minutes to Colorado. So it's like, there's no way those cats are going to try to sit in my fucking truck for that long, you know what I'm saying? And um, on top of that, I'm gonna have to stay in hotels, and then my apartment is charging like a ridiculous fucking expensive crazy fee to have animals. So I was just like, fuck. I hate to do it, but I think it's the best just to rehome my cats. And they're going to my best friend who lives in the house like down the road from me. So they're gonna be in great hands. And I'm not really concerned about that. Um, and I can see Kurt whenever I want to when I come back. And honestly, in the future, I might come back and get him and take him on a plane back to my apartment in Denver with me. So, um, I'm not sure. Maybe the cats will come back one day. I'm not sure. Because I really do love Kurt and I hate to leave him, but fuck. Um, I just don't need the extra stress in my life right now, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, y'all. This is what my house looks like at the moment. Um, everything's about to change. I know that. This is what it looks like currently. I'm about to take my rug. I'm not taking this couch. I'm leaving most of the furniture in this house, honestly. Because I'm just loading up my truck and taking everything I can fit in it. So, I'm leaving a bunch of shit. I'm taking my printer, my record player. I'm taking my Kurt Cobain poster. I'm taking that poster. I'm going to take this nice ass uh, ashtray. I'm going to take this recliner chair. And then in my room, the only thing I'm going to take is this desk and my nightstand and I'm leaving everything else um, except for the, like you know obviously my tapestries and shit oh and by the way um, I no longer have my car so basically um, my dad gave me his truck which is like this big ass Ford F-150 four-door truck it's really fucking nice honestly I don't feel like myself when I'm driving it <laughs> um, um, I don't know but yeah the bug is fixed y'all already know I wrecked the bug like a month ago it's finally fixed and it's at my dad's house and basically I'm just gonna sell it <laughs> and um, keep the money and uh, it'll help me furnish my apartment and get myself set up a little bit more in LA or Colorado I've already saved up coins so I'm good on that but selling the car but yeah y'all I got a truck now holy fucking shit let me go show y'all this truck it's parked outside right now <laughs> y'all this is the new whip it's kind of dark outside right now but yeah it's a big ass truck and this is what i'm gonna be driving from now on which i feel like is more fitting for the colorado weather all right you guys so it is now 11 o'clock it is so much later and holy shit look at my house like it is so just like it looks ransacked it is so bare now there's kurt yeah y'all this place is literally so fucking empty uh, me and my dad have my truck completely loaded down outside um, and yeah, pretty much everything's gone. <laughs> um, this is what the living room looks like now. I'm like, holy shit, there's not much left in here. Um, I'm honestly just going to leave most of this shit. Like I said, it's not even a big deal. Um, and then my bedroom, it's pretty fucking bare. We broke my desk down and put that out there in the truck. 
So yeah, my truck is literally loaded down. All I need to do is take my clothes and put all that out there. Um, but for now, I'm about to take the cats to my friend's house and drop them off. So this is gonna be the last time um, I'm gonna be around them, which is kind of fucking sad. However, you gotta do what you gotta fucking do. <laughs> I love you, Kurt, but bro, I gotta go. <laughs> all right, guys, this is mine and Kurt's final moments in the house together. This is so sad. Me and him have had such a great journey together. It's not permanently over, but for now, Bubby, we aren't gonna be together for a little bit, and uh, that's okay. We're gonna be in great hands, and uh, I'm gonna miss you. All right, you guys, vlog update. So it is 7.30 a.m. the next morning. I'm about to leave my house. I just got everything out of here. And uh, I'm gonna show y'all what my house looks like before I leave because I kind of want to document this shit. So, all right. So in here is the living room, sunroom, y'all. It looks pretty fucking bare. Like I said, I'm leaving most of my shit. My dad's gonna take care of it for me because there's only so much I can fit in my truck. Let me show y'all. My truck is literally loaded down outside. So uh, it's ready to go. I have a lot of driving today, y'all, to do. And I've literally slept for like three fucking hours, almost four hours, so. Yeah, I'm a little tired, but we're gonna get through this shit, and tomorrow we'll be in fucking Colorado, so let's fucking go. Goodbye, house. You treated me motherfucking well, but it's time to move on. <laughs> All right, I'm pulling out of my driveway. My truck is so loaded down. There's my old little house. Goodbye. You treated me well, but it's time to go. This is what my house looked like, y'all. It was a little white house, and over here was like this big ass factory. <laughs> so, yeah, it's sad, but we gotta go. Alright, y'all. I don't know why, but I literally just started crying. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it real with y'all. I don't know, it's just kind of sad. <laughs> because I've literally lived here my whole life, and it's just like. I just have like a few good friends here and it's like I'm really gonna miss them in my family and it's just like kind of scary I don't know I'm just like leaving all by myself you know and I've literally lived here my whole life so it's just like a scary situation not even scary it's just like really sad to me I mean there's my old high school you guys um I definitely don't really miss that place but I had some good times there many hours later Alright you guys, so I just left Missouri. I was in downtown Missouri. I stopped there literally only to get some pictures um, because I was supposed to go around it and just keep going but I was like, you know what, fuck it. I've never been to Missouri and there's like the arch thingy so I fucking stopped in downtown and got my tripod and I hopped out and took some pictures of me really quick but I didn't really vlog in downtown. Like I was there for like maybe 10 minutes <laughs> and uh, I fucking left. So now I'm back on the interstate and um, yeah. I am driving another two hours actually. I think I'm, how many hours? An hour and 46 minutes until I'm at my hotel. So I'm gonna be staying in a place called Columbia, uh, Missouri. It's like right in the middle of Missouri. So yeah, I figured that's a good resting point. I'm really tired y'all. I've had three hours of fucking sleep and I'm ready to get in bed, have some fucking Wi-Fi. And look at my eyelid. All right, you guys, so update. It is about an hour later, and I'm currently pulling into the hotel parking lot that I'm gonna stay at. I called this place beforehand to see if they had any rooms available, and they do, so I'm gonna go ahead and go in here and get my room bought and everything so I can take my shit inside. And uh, holy shit, I cannot wait to fucking get in this bed and just like close my eyeballs and sleep. So I'm about to go in here, y'all, and get this room. All right, y'all, I'm in the hotel. I'm about to go in my room, see what it looks like. This hotel is really nice, I'm excited. Whoa. Yo, this is a nice ass hotel room. Holy shit. Yo, I'm really glad I came here now. <laughs> this is nice. I can even see my truck from up here. Damn. Yo, look at this bed though. All right, you guys, so now that my hotel situation is all sorted out, I'm gonna go and grab some food because I'm really fucking hungry and I'm really fucking tired. The next day. All right, you guys, so it is the next morning. I just woke up and got showered. It's February 22nd. Monday, it's 7 a.m. where I'm at right now, and I'm about to get dressed and head out the hotel. I just um, showered and got ready, but I have a package. So when I was leaving my house yesterday, I remember this was in my mailbox because I ordered it a few weeks ago, and it finally came. It's from a brand called Ransom. It's really fucking dope. 
um, brands and I just never even opened it. So I figured I'd wear it today. So I'm gonna open this with you guys. I kind of forgot what it even looks like. I just know it was a really cool t-shirt <laughs> and I wanna wear it today. So, right, holy shit, y'all. This is so sick. Okay, let me open this. I'm trying to be quiet because I feel like the neighbors beside me are like trying to sleep because it's literally 7 a.m. And I get up early and I'm trying to get on the road, y'all, because I have like 10 hours of driving ahead of me today um because i'm currently in the middle of missouri and i'm gonna try to go all the way to the end of missouri all the way through kansas and then get to denver so i have quite the journey but yeah this is the shirt this looks dope as fuck so it just says ransom and has like this little crazy face on it yo this is such a dope t-shirt i'm so happy i bought this um so yeah and it's really comfy like whoa all right um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting ready, y'all, and uh, gather up all my shit, and go load my truck back up, and get back on the motherfucking road, and I'll probably stop and get some breakfast somewhere, um, I'm not sure, but I'll update y'all later. Today is gonna be a fucking journey. <laughs> Alright, you guys, update. I'm on the road, I've not updated y'all in about an hour since I left the hotel, but, um, yeah, I'm on the road, I'm almost out of Missouri, and let me fucking tell y'all, this state is a menace to society, because, like, there's so many cops every single way, like, I've seen at least five to six people, like, pulled over on the side of the road this morning, and I was like, what the fuck is this place? I can't wait to get the fuck out of here. Missouri, I'm sorry if you live here, any of y'all, but this place is boring as fuck. <laughs> and there's too many cops so yeah I'm almost to Kansas City which is really exciting I've never been to Kansas um, and I'm about 30 minutes away I think Eight hours later. all right y'all it is much later I look rough as hell I just had some Chipotle and I am in downtown Denver so yeah um, I actually am not able to stay in my apartment tonight so that's not gonna happen so i'm going to a hotel right now and um yeah i'm just gonna get a hotel room and pass the fuck out and this hotel room is literally like five minutes from my apartment so i'm about to actually drive by my apartment <clears throat> right now so i'll see like what it looks like yeah i'm like literally about to go past this this is gonna be exciting um but yeah i'm driving through downtown right now y'all it's really it's kind of dark out so i can't really get a good feel of the city like i said this is my first time ever being here so yeah i don't know what the fuck i don't even, I mean, yeah, there's like so many fucking roads, <laughs> but I think I'm good. All right, where the fuck is this apartment? Because I want to get a glimpse. Okay, it's up here. But yeah, I'm really excited to wake up in the morning and um, fucking explore and like look at my apartment and shit. Tomorrow's going to be such a fun day, y'all. Um, I'm not used to this time zone. It's currently 8.44 p.m. However, back home where I'm from, it is 10.44 p.m. So that's why I'm really sleepy because my bedtime, I usually go to bed pretty early. But yeah, holy shit, I'm so excited, y'all. I feel like I just have entered like a new chapter in my life. And I've always wanted to live in a city, so like when I was driving in earlier, I was just like really taking it in. And um, I was like, wow, this is like really my home for the next year, and it's crazy. Like I never would have thought like this would be happening. Okay, okay, here's the street that I'm living on. So I don't, oh, there's my apartment. Cool, all right, I fuck with that. Um, maybe that was my apartment. I'm not fucking sure. I think over there it is. Anyways, I need to look at the road. Holy shit. I'm like literally, my apartment, y'all, is literally like right in downtown. Holy shit. I'm like close to everything. <laughs> Says I'm three minutes away from the hotel. Fuck. I can't believe I'm gonna be, I live in like a downtown city of a city. This is crazy. Like, I've always had like a really... I don't know, I've just always loved cities and like wanted to experience that life. And now I'm doing it. Hell fucking yeah. Um, okay. I need to, I need to turn right. Yeah, that Chipotle I ate really fucked my stomach up. Like, I already regret eating that shit. Bro, what is this street? Okay, I see. The next day all right good morning you guys so it is the next day it is the 23rd of february 2021 i am currently in my hotel room i just woke up let me turn is this the only light in this motherfucker i guess so but yeah y'all i am um, i just woke up got out of bed i'm in my hotel room i'm in this really fucking fancy ass hotel and i'm like really high up <laughs> i'm on the 36th floor let me open my window because i'm gonna show y'all my view <clears throat> so yeah y'all um i didn't really know where to stay last night so i went to this 
like fancy hotel and um holy shit look at my view i'm gonna turn the camera around i'm in downtown denver and the sun is just now rising and it's really beautiful um so yeah this is my view this morning you guys um it's a crazy fucking view it's so pretty outside and over here you can kind of see the sun rising um in downtown here damn and when i look down this was kind of giving me anxiety because i'm like so high up like holy shit but y'all look at this view this is beautiful but yeah y'all um today i get to move in my apartment and i'm so excited um because i was having some anxiety this morning i'm not gonna lie um just because like i woke up and i was like holy shit i'm all alone in this city that i've never been to and i'm gonna be stuck here for the next year of my life and it's it, it just kind of hit me that like all my family was gone and like my friends like I don't know a soul in, in this town and um, I just woke up with a lot of anxiety but um, I'm feeling better now I think today is gonna be a great day um, I think it also hit me because like I was like damn I am just really dedicating my entire life to YouTube because like holy shit I have no other option but to do this now you know and it's what I love to do but um I can't let this shit fail because like yo I got face tattoos and like I mean, I can't go get a job if, like, shit falls through, you know? So, it, it is kind of, it's, it's a little stressful. Um, and I guess I've just been overthinking shit, you know? But I think I, I think I made the right decision, and I'm super excited for my new life um, in the city. And I can't wait to see where the next year takes me. Um, and holy shit, I'm just so excited to get today started. So, I'm going to go get in the shower, y'all, and get ready. It is, like, 6.30 here, so... Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready. Okay guys, so I finally got showered and ready. I'm not gonna lie, I just take a fucking cold shower. Because like, the hot water in this hotel doesn't, didn't work. And I was like, what the fuck? I paid a lot to stay here and to take a cold ass shower. But it's like, whatever. I'm ready to get the fuck out of here and go to my apartment today. So now y'all, it is 8.35. So the post office just opened. I'm about to go to the post office because I need to get a money order so I can pay um, my apartment complex like the rent or just like everything that's due up front. So I'm gonna take that, or I'm gonna get that taken care of and then I'm gonna go to my apartment and try to get my shit unloaded. And I also need to go to the bank today because I need to open a new bank account here in town. So I have somewhere to like bank at. So I'm gonna take care of some business errands today. And then once I get my apartment like set up and all my shit moved in it, I'm gonna go grocery shopping and get some stuff, some groceries. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a fun first day y'all. And um, Holy shit, it looks beautiful outside today. It's really sunny, really pretty, and I'm ready to get this shit going, y'all. <laughs> All right, you guys, that day. So I'm currently in my apartment. It's a few hours later. I finally left the hotel, and I went and grabbed some breakfast, and I just got my truck parked in my parking spot, and I'm now in my apartment. Like, I literally just got here, and I have, like, a cart of all my shit in it. This is not everything. I have so much more stuff to go get out of my truck, you guys. This is just, like, all my clothes. So this is my apartment. Um, it's a studio, so it's not like huge or anything, but over here we have a nice view. I'm in downtown Denver, so yeah, this is a really nice, this is like why I really wanted the apartment, because of this screen door, which I don't know how to fucking open this thing, I'll be honest. There we go. Hell yeah. you guys I'm gonna give you all a really quick apartment tour so yeah this is the main living space um, I'm gonna put my bed like right here put my computer desk over here you know I got my kitchen right there this is my closet it's a giant fucking closet so I'm really happy about that like it's huge in here so that is really nice I'm about to put all my clothes up um, so yeah this is the kitchen it's got a little island right here I really like I'm gonna get like a chair like a bar stool and put here so we got that. Yeah, this, this kitchen's really nice. I'm excited to make cooking videos in here. So yeah, we got that. Over here is my washer and dryer. Bam. And then in here is the bathroom, which is really nice as well. So got a nice marble countertop. Um, over here is the sh toilet. We got the shower. It's a glass door shower, which is like really nice and cool. So I'm excited um, to take my shower in here later. But yeah, y'all, um, that is basically my apartment. It's nothing crazy big or super special, but it, I think it's perfect for me. It's like when you walk in, this is what you see. Got the bathroom over here, kitchen. And uh, yeah, y'all, it's fucking nice. If you ask me, it's definitely small, but this is just all I need for myself. And this view is killer. <laughs> I've literally always wanted to live in like a downtown like city 
and I can't, this doesn't even feel real. Like this doesn't even feel like it's not part of me yet. It's not really set in. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go get more shit out of my truck, you guys, and get everything situated because I need to go to Target and get some like groceries and uh, just like random shit. So that's on my that's my plans for today. So I'm vlogging on my phone right now because I forgot my camera at my apartment. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I just pulled up to a weed shop. It's really late out. It's like almost eight o'clock. Um, but I want to grab an edible really quick so I can like pass the fuck out and sleep for like eight hours to 10 hours tonight because I fucking need the rest. I, just, I need my brain to just like turn off. So I'm going to grab some edibles. Um, that's all I'm going to get because I want to wait till tomorrow and go get like a bunch of shit and do like a big weed haul for my other channel. But I'm gonna grab an edible. I'm gonna probably go grab some food after this and then go back home and try to finish setting up my, setting up my Wi-Fi. My apartment looks ho a whole lot better, y'all. I spent the day just organizing and like unpacking my truck of like all the shit. So I'll show you guys what it looks like when I get back. But for now, I'm gonna go in this place called The Giving Tree in Denver and uh, grab some shit. So let's fucking get it. All right, you guys, update. So I went to the weed shop and I got my stuff. I'm so excited. So I got a, I got an edible. This is a Indica dark chocolate um, edible. It looks really fucking good. I, I really like dark chocolate, so I went with that. And I wanted the Indica, so I passed the fuck out. And I wasn't gonna get any weed, but I was like, damn, that's so tempting. Cause I'm in Colorado and I've not bought any weed yet. And it's like, what the fuck? So I bought this weed. It is jungle cake. Um, THC 35%. Oh, THC 78%. I don't know. Shit's crazy. Um, let me pop it open. Yeah. Yeah. It smells fucking great. It probably looks mid as fuck on this camera, but holy shit. This is a $40 eighth. Something like. Um, but yeah, I am now in a parking garage. And I'm pretty sure I just paid fucking $10 to park here. However, it was my only option because I really needed to go to Whole Foods to get some fucking groceries. So I'm going to get some groceries, go the fuck home and try out these edibles. And I'll see you guys there. All right, you guys. So I just got back from Whole Foods and I got my shit. I'm so hungry. I cannot wait to cook and have some fucking food. So first up, what I got is these drink things I'm obsessed with. It's San Pellegrino. I think I've talked about these before. I'm not really sure. But these are so fucking fire. Um, and it's like this sparkling water juice drink. And these are just so fucking good. I got the orange one and then the clementine one. So I'm so excited to eat these or drink these. I already have a case in my fridge right now that I brought from home. Um, obviously, I went to the weed shop, uh, which I'm super excited about. I'm going to eat this edible here in a second because um, I, I need it. <laughs> I'm also going to try out this weed. Um, I'm not... I'm not smoked in this apartment yet, but I think they're pretty lax about it because I asked and he was like, well, we really don't care. There's not really like a policy on it. However, like if we ever get complaints, you know, that that's when it becomes a problem. So I'm not going to push my luck <laughs> by any means, but I'm definitely going to smoke in here eventually. I just don't want to do it like super quick. I'll probably, since I have like the screen sliding door over there, I'll probably just take a bong rip and blow it out there whenever I do smoke that. Next up, we got some rice, um, just some random ass brand of rice. I'm really excited about this. This is field roast, plant-based, smoke app smoked apple and sage um, sausages. So I'm gonna make this tonight, actually, with like some pasta. So yeah, I actually bought some pasta and marinara sauce. Um, so that's gonna be really fucking good. I'm starving, like I said. Next up, this is kind of random, but I got this water. It's called Flow Water, and I, I always see Post Malone drink this, and I never saw it before until I moved here, so I was like, fuck it, let me try that. It looks really interesting. The packaging is like, I don't know, whatever. It's, yeah, I don't know. It checks out, so let's fucking drink it. It's 100% natural alkaline spring water with a perfect pH of 1.8. Do y'all even give a fuck? I don't know. Damn, that was crispy. <laughs> oh, I, my body needed that. Then I got some organic eggs. Surprised those didn't break. 
Um, hell yeah. And then lastly, I got some Gardein Chipotle Lime Crispy Chicken Tenders. This is like the vegan chicken things. I've never seen this like flavor before. So I'm really excited to try that as a snack. I got some chicken breasts. And then I got some spinach. Hell yeah. So I'm gonna put this shit up y'all and get to cooking. This is gonna be my first meal in this kitchen. This kitchen is so fucking nice. Like, what an upgrade from my last kitchen background from my house. Like, holy shit, it looks so good. Um, but yeah, y'all. Um, some things look different in the apartment. So, how do I turn the fucking light on in here? I don't even know. Oh. There we go. So yeah, y'all, it looks a little different in here. I got my bed. This is a blow-up air mattress. Um, pretty pitiful, but I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a bed eventually. This is just like for the time being. Over here, I have my desk. It's like the big glass thing. I have it wrapped in a blanket, um, so it wouldn't break when I was moving it. I got my recliner chair up here, so I can use that at my desk and game and shit. Um, over here, I got my TV, my other TV. I got some, all my posters, my ring light. Um, oh yeah, over here I have my nightstand. I got my record player on it, and I've got all my Nirvana vinyls over here. So yeah, I brung all this shit up. And uh, yeah, I also have all my bongs now, you guys. Let me show you. So I brung all my bongs up earlier today as well. They're just sitting in my closet for now because I didn't know where else to put them. So yeah, I got all my pieces in here. My closet is still a fucking mess. But it's all good. I'm going to wash all these clothes before I hang them up. And I got all my shoes over here. I'm going to organize this tomorrow. I don't really give a shit tonight. Alright you guys, I got my dinner cooked. I'm so hungry and this looks so good and it smells so good. I'm so excited to eat this. Holy shit. <clears throat> Cheers. Mm. Yeah. My body truly needed this. Holy shit. I look crazy. Okay guys, so. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and tear into this chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> I remember chocolate. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and tear into this shit because I need to get fried. So this was literally 26 bucks. But I don't think that's that bad. The eighth was 40 bucks. I really wonder if my neighbors can hear me talking. Because there's someone living right there through that wall and through that wall. So I'm like, <laughs> it's kind of making me uncomfortable thinking about them. But fuck it. Let's open this shit and get to eating. So I don't know if I should eat the whole thing. Probably not, right? Yeah, probably not. <laughs> so this is, um, it's made with Afghani, which is a indica strain. Okay, honestly, I'm just gonna do like this much and see what happens. <laughs> That's a good amount. Yeah, it is Wednesday, uh, February 24th. It's 9.50 a.m. Uh, I woke up like an hour or two ago, and y'all, last night, I had an edible, and I got so fucking high. Like, my, I woke up high this morning. <laughs> like, that's how much, that's how fucked up I got. So this is what I ate last night. Um, it's an indica chocolate fucking edible. Um, I still have a little bit left, and I'm not gonna lie, I ate like a little piece this morning. So I'm definitely, high as fuck right now, I'm not gonna lie, like, my eyes feel really heavy, <laughs> um, yeah, I've been in bed, editing a video, all morning, y'all, um, it's almost done, so, I've been taking care of that, my bed situation is kind of pitiful, um, but this is just for temporary purposes, I'm gonna get, like, an actual bed set up eventually, but yeah, this is what my apartment looks like, y'all, my goal today is to get my computer desk set up, which is gonna be a pain in the ass, I already know, but it's all good. It looks really pretty outside today, too. Um, I don't know what the temperature is, but it looks really sunny. But yeah, y'all, my goals for today is just to get my computer desk set up, get my apartment a little bit more organized so I feel more at home. And uh, I'm probably gonna go to a dispensary again tonight and get some more weed stuff. But for now, I'm going to actually, I'm gonna eat the rest of that edible, y'all, because there's not much left and I'm trying to, I'm trying to be lit. All day. <laughs> if I'm gonna be working and putting this computer desk together, I might as well be lit while I do it. So, let me finish this off. And this is an indica, by the way. So, I don't know, it's probably not the best strain to like be doing work and like doing shit, but fuck it. Um, I can handle it. All right, well, there's kind of a lot left. So, there's that much. 
It's really tasty too. You can't even taste the weed in it. Hmm. All right, y'all. Now that the edibles down the hatch, I'm gonna get to work on this computer desk. I love how I just ate an edible for breakfast casually. <laughs> Hell yeah, might as well be high all day, fuck. All right, you guys, so it's a little bit later. I finally got my apartment organized. It's currently 12.22, um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hop, th hop in the shower and get ready. Damn, it's only 12.22. That's, I thought it was gonna be later than that. <laughs> I think I'm still on Kentucky time, cause like, I don't know, my sleep schedule's been weird and everything, so I'm gonna have to get adjusted, cause, it's, cause in Colorado, cause in Colorado, the time is two hours back. Um, so I'm having to get adjusted to this shit, but yeah, y'all the edible definitely kicked in because I like literally Spring cleaned my house like I just or apartment. I just went crazy and uh, I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like now because it looks so much better So in here we got the bathroom. I think I showed you guys this already. Um, I'm really excited to shower I've yet to use that. So yeah, we got the kitchen cleaned up um, I Did all the dishes got my island all organized. I got some like random dab and like bong pieces over here so i'm probably gonna go buy some dabs today because i have these brand new bangers i've never even used so i'm gonna put them to use so yeah i got that organized and then i got my desk taken care of put my tvs on it put my playstation over here and i decided since i had two tvs that i would just put them back to back so i could watch this one when i'm in bed and then i could use this one for my gaming purposes i got my laptop over here and everything so i really like my setup i got my ashtray here and over here i got my rolling uh tray with some grinders and papers my glass head so yeah y'all playstation this is the setup for now i guess i don't know how long it'll look like this but i'm pretty happy with it and then I also got my closet organized. It looks so much better in here. I still have a bunch of laundry to do. This is just dirty clothes. Um, but yeah, um, this is what it looks like. I put all my shoes up here. Then all my bongs are over here. I'm gonna buy a shelf today at like Target and put all my bongs out here on display. All right, you guys, so I just rolled up a joint and a King Palm. I put that in this little package. I'm gonna take it on the road with me. Um, I'm about to head out and go to Target. Yeah, I also just made a snack, so I put these in the oven. It's some Gardein crispy chicken tenders, but it's like vegan chicken tenders. And this is the Chipotle lime flavor, so I'm really excited to try these. I just pulled them out of the oven. I'm not really eating much food today, so yeah, I need to get some food in my system before I go anywhere. Tonight, I'm gonna cook some chicken pasta. When I get back home so that'll be really good I'm also thinking about going back to the weed dispensary today sometime while I'm out I'm not 100% sure but I'm probably gonna get some more weed stuff that edible fucked me up I've, I've been high all day y'all mm. wow these are really good Alright you guys, so I made it to the store that I want to go to. It's called Garage Sale and it's right here. And it's like 70s, 80s, and 90s themed like vintage clothing. But I just need to figure out where the fuck I'm going to park at because I don't know where to go or park. That's like the problem with living in downtown. I never know where to fucking park my car because I'm not trying to get towed, you know. I guess I'll find some random fucking parking spot because I really want to go in the store. It looks super fucking sick. All right, you guys, so I just left that store. I bought a sweater that's really, really comfy. Um, it's starting to snow here in downtown. This fucking mask is fogging my glasses up and I can barely see. But yeah, y'all, I just came from out of that store and I bought this really cozy ass sweater. So now I'm about to hop in my truck. Um, it's starting to snow here in downtown. So I'm gonna hop in my truck and then go to Target. And then I'm gonna go to a wheat dispensary and get some gas. And I'm probably gonna head back home, so. All right, you guys, so I'm currently in Target parking lot. I'm enjoying this joint. Um, I'm about to go in here, but it's fucking pouring the snow. Like, holy shit, my truck is already getting covered. But like the roads aren't 
getting covered, so I'm not really that worried about it. Plus, this truck's four-wheel drive, although I should probably be careful. There's a police over there. All right, you guys, so I just got back home. Um, it's really fucking snowing outside. And like, honestly, that was kind of scary because I had to drive on the interstate in the pouring snow. And like, I could barely see the fucking road at times. So that was definitely a learning experience. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you what I got. So at the thrift store, y'all, I ended up getting this really cool sweatshirt. I didn't try it on, so hopefully it fits, but it looks really cool. It's like a really thick sweatshirt and like, there's like, patches sewn in all over it in different colors i don't know i thought it looked really cool so i bought it so i'm excited to wear that next up i also went to another dispensary and i got some weed stuff i didn't get any bud because there's just one um, dispensary i'm going to go to tomorrow that has really good flour so i'm just gonna wait and get like an ounce tomorrow there but yeah i did pick up another one of the chocolate edibles that i ate last night because y'all these truly hit different so this one is made out of Durban poison and it's a sativa milk chocolate. So the other one, it was an indica. So yeah, I'm lucky one to already eat this, um, but I'm gonna try to save it until after I cook dinner so I can have it for like a dessert. So I also ended up buying some uh, wax. Is this wax or shatter? So yeah, this is a gram of shatter and it is apricot apricots is the strain. Um, I don't know y'all. I'm excited. I figured I should just start dabbing because I'm kind of afraid to smoke like actual flour in my apartment because I don't want people to like smell it next door like my neighbors and shit. But with dabs, it really doesn't smell that bad. So I can definitely dab inside as much as I want. Whoa, this shit looks sticky as hell. See, so yeah, I also went to Target, y'all, and I got some pasta sauce because I'm going to make pasta tonight. Uh, I got some washcloth. So yeah, y'all, I'm gonna get um, to cooking. And I'm gonna take a dive here in a second with y'all. So, hell yeah. It's also still fucking snowing pretty fucking hard. It was really scary driving back home. I was like, damn, I'm gonna end up fucking wrecking or some bullshit. Let me open this screen door for y'all. This is what it looks like outside right now. 